what's up guys today is friday finally friday did you see it snap on friday there's the man so let's see what he's got you guys come on Good in here. Mmm, got some loose goodies, looks like. Yeah. 100th anniversary cooler. Man, that's what I'm talking about. Well, when we drawing for the speakers? We almost got it full. I should got two boards almost full right now. I think it's pretty cool. cool. Wouldn't that look good in that music room that in there? That would look good in there with all the other stuff. <laughs> that would fit in with all the decor, too. Yeah. Look pretty good. I ain't scanner racks full. It's a good day. Been getting a bunch of stuff in. I got a bunch of boxes I got to go through still right now. This has been off last two and a half weeks. You got a bunch in there. <laughs> yeah, I got some here I got to get, too. In I forgot about them. Big boxes in there. Yeah. <clears throat> Yeah, picked them bad boys up today when I'm thinking about it. Well, what new and exciting stuff you got this week? I really just replenishing a bunch of the stuff that we had up here. What's it down there for? Um, it's been moving a bunch of pliers, a crazy amount of ratchets and stuff. Snap ring pliers been moving. I think this is the last two sets of snap ring pliers I got. I don't think I had all the screwdrivers the other day when we was up here. Mm-mm. Yeah. I got the blue ones. Yeah, them look good. And the yellow. Very nice. Still getting much of in. What's some screwdriver sets go for? Uh, like, let me let me throw this out there just so you know. I don't need them <laughs> at all, <laughs> but they're blue. So <laughs> that's why I want them. There's the part number. And it looks like it comes with three Phillips and four pry bars. Yep. <clears throat> three Phillips heads, so it'll be a number one, number two, and a number three Phillips, and then the rest of them's all pry bars. Four different lengths of pry bars, and this is the longest of the pry bars. Everybody needs an 8-inch pry bar, don't they? That's it. So we got these for 200 right now. Well, they're 200. I got them for 180 right now. Okay. And you still get a hat or t-shirt, and you get in on the drawing, too. Look at you. got a blue torque wrench up here. What do you think about that? I think I, I, think I got a red one. <laughs> <That's what> <laughs> I, <laughs> I think mine's red. I, actually, uh, I got a red one, and then my half inch is green. Right. Yeah, both of yours is like these, aren't mm. they? Well, I got the digital one too, you know, the half yeah. inch digital. Yeah. But man, I love that split beam style. Oh, I do too. That's what I uh, had the guy today, or not today, Wednesday actually when I see him, but he's wanting to buy, he has all the digital quarter, three eighths and a half, but he's wanting something for when he does taking tires and everything off to retort the lugs. Right yeah. now, he's having to use his digital. And he just, he said he don't want to use that on all of them. It don't have to be as precise and if it was a dropper or something. And he been looking at one of these, but I think I got him talking to a split beam. Yeah, a split. I just like and, the, uh, well, I just like them, man. They, they, they I like the way they, they do set. feel better in your hand. Yep. And uh, they're easier but, to set too. Yep. That's what I was telling him. I said, with these, if wherever you need to go to, if it's a hundred pound, you just go over to it and you there. It. You lock it. It ain't you're not. Mm -hmm. Turn it all the way up, then turn it all the way back down. Now well, this is, I don't, I haven't never really messed with the split beam too much, but I had a guy tell me that used to work on torque wrenches. He said on the split beam, you don't have to turn them all the way back. You just flip this thing back. Oh, it and lets that, the pressure off? That's the pressure off. He said, you can leave it all the way up on 250. Well, I'll be there. 
I said, I don't know if that's true or not, but I do know that there ain't no pressure on it. Now you do that and you can feel it. Mm -hmm. but then you can pull it back and it's all free. That's what he told me. Cool. Don't do that and then call me if your torque wrench is broke because <laughs> I don't know if it's true or I not. I say still turn them down and yeah. it'll be all right. But that is a perk of a digital. You yep. ain't got to zero them back out. They go off on that. Mm -hmm. I like the digital, but I, I prefer the click because I always, every single time, like you you know, you're trying to be careful. Say you got on 80 foot pounds, yeah. and it'll beep and you'll stop and it'll be like 80.8 yeah. or 81.2 or something like that. Which That's, I mean, it's close. <coughs> yeah, you get a, it is, it's, you're not going to stop exactly on the digital unless you're doing like super slow. And But that click style is a lot easier as far as the feel and yeah. stuff. I do, I'm like, but I got all the digital. I like all the uh, the vibrating, the lights, and all that stuff. And my son uses the three eights all the time on his little junior. And to me, for him, it's a lot easier because he can go through it. It's mm -hmm. already set. He powered it up and it's to what it needs to oh, be. Oh, it's at. definitely easier, you know. Yeah. But I take the, the batteries out of mine all the time, every time I pull the batteries out. So. Yeah, that's a high dollar tool to open up one day and your batteries be corroded over. What's in that box? Them snap ring pliers? Snap ring pliers. Okay. Cool, cool, cool. Man, them look good. You need them. Mm -mm, I just bought a, that red pair not <laughs> long ago from you. I don't need them. Now you need them bad boys. What I need to do is trade my red ones in, get them, and then trade my torque wrench in, get them. But uh, We take trades. Yeah. I know how that works. I give you mine and you buy my... I, I give you... Mine and buy yours. Well, that's a, we, we trade <laughs> like you ain't even got one. That's it. <laughs> Absolutely. So when they gonna come out with like the blue and the impacts and stuff? I don't know. I ain't sure. I haven't heard or seen anything on them. They need to. I'm so interested in the uh, brushless, the CT 861s. Mm -hmm. I'm still waiting on. I about done give up on them. I think it's just a myth. <laughs> they don't do it just. To... <laughs> they gonna come riding in on the unicorns. What's yeah. gonna happen? <laughs> That's about right. Hanging from the unicorn's mane. They're taking everything else brushless. I'm waiting on the, uh, the little CT760. Well, I used my polisher for a long time this week. Yeah, like a long, it, it ain't, it didn't smoke. So the smoke packet must be in the brushed version only. Yeah. <laughs> well, yeah, uh, of course, now I told you, we got, I got one, the brushless and the brushless. My son used the brushless one the, the other day. Uh, on one of these houses, we found a bunch of like look like bullet tips, what they look like, but they're like this tall, this big round, and every one weigh about 30 pounds. I mean, Golly. they're heavy. Well, they're all rusted up. The other day, he was out at the shop cleaning them up. He wants to paint them all like black with a red tip. Mm -hmm. I don't know why, but he wants hey, to decorate them all. It keeps That's, him out of trouble, right? Yeah. Well, I got a bunch of roll up pads and stuff at the house. I had a whole bunch of these too. That sucker wore all these. Every one was wore down. Like it's up in the middle, there's like a little bitty hump on them. <laughs> but all them little bullet heads or with the bullet tips. It's time I shine. They're like chrome now. That's cool. He sees them clear coat one of them because the the chrome that's shining. So whatever, hey, dude, whatever, do man. It to it, you know. That beats playing video games. Yeah. Or out getting in trouble with his buddies. Hitting really mailboxes with baseball bats and stuff like that. Yeah, but he ain't got no problem getting in trouble already. So <laughs> anything that's going to keep him out of it is good. <laughs> well, I'm glad to see all the new stuff coming in. and I know that pallet that's in there, it's, it's big. So I don't know. There'll be some cool stuff next week to see probably. Yeah, they go through it and get it. There might be that. a unicorn pop out of there. Holding a genie vase that's carrying three brushless impacts. Yeah, could be. <laughs> <laughs> you'll never know what you'll get in from Snap On. That's right. All right, guys. Like always, thanks for hanging out with us. And if you like the video, hit that thumbs up. Check over here for merchandise, cool tools, and discount codes down here. And if you're not subscribed, it's super easy. Take your finger and you click that button. You guys have a great weekend, and we will catch you later. See ya.